Who puts a board there in the way of walking? I put a board there. Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Ron. And welcome to Film Sandwich. On today's episode, we are gonna do some light testing. Because there's no right way or wrong way, there's just my way, which is the right way. Isn't that all right? You know what we're gonna do? What are we doing? So, we're gonna take a light, and we're gonna measure how powerful it is. And the reason we're doing this is because we've been really busy the last couple of months, and we've been out of location, and I've been putting my light on, I'm like looking at it, like I don't think it's as bright as it used to be. So, that's what today is all for. Today is for testing my Froza 500 Nanolite, Right? Is that the name of it? Something like that. Yep. Against his froze of 500 nanolite and the 300 to see after three years, because I bought mine in February 2020, and I literally just threw it in the truck, took it out, put it on, threw it in the truck a I couple brought, times. I bought mine in April 2021. So we're going to just put this light meter up. I got 100 ISO, 125, and this will give me like an f-stop because I'm old school. And I can kind of test the value of all the light and how powerful it is. We got about eight feet away, hence the board that Ron tripped over. So you can see it's eight feet, so we can do this test later. So there you go, and we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started, you ready? Okay, so here we are, we got these lights. Let's do it. All right, first one up, my NAN light. Okay, Mark's, Boom. Mark's well-loved NAN light. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Okay, it starts off nice and bright. Five six flat, five six flat. Oh, what's happening to the light? There? It's dimming. It got dim. At f now we're down at f four. Yeah, this is this is two eight point nine. So basically, we were a stop hot, and then it kind of dimmed down. So run, my light is running exactly at f four for a power setting, so to speak. But there is an issue, I think, going on with the ballast. Well, it says here there's like a little like error. It says the fan could not work, exclamation point. All right, so basically that light behind us right there is super, super bright, but not bright enough. And I have a problem with my ballast and a problem with my, my light. It's allowing me to turn the light on at about 25% power. So you may be experiencing the same thing. And it's a small little error message. It's like, fan not working. You can barely see it. Even though it's hundred percent, the whole thing works. No brain, no blamo, no problem. Well, no, no what? No bueno. No bueno. No good. No good. See, I try. All right, now let's go ahead and meter up Ron's brand new nail light. All right, three, two, one. All right, look at that. It's on there and it's holding the brightness. It's holding it. It's not Ooh. dimming. So that's five, six and a half. Ooh, it's still bright. Five, six and a half compared to F4. That's a stop and a half of brightness on his NAN light that has no errors at all. So I guess what's happening is that there is some internal malfunction that's keeping my light from going 100%. So I got to send it back to NAN light after three years. But the other thing I have a question about is, is it even serviceable? We're going to find out. I don't know if it's user serviceable. You can't change the light bulb out. All right, so we know that that's five, six and a half a lot more powerful than mine, same brand. Mine's just messed up. Now, let's go ahead and go to 300. Go ahead, Ron. 300. Three, two, one. Here it comes. They take a moment to, to start up here. Okay, this is the 300. All right, 300's on the money. We're right about there, same thing. So that's F4.2. So right now, that 300 is more powerful than my 500, and there's nothing I can do to fix my 500 except to send it back. So let's go turn off the light and we'll do a little thinking about this. I'll turn off the light. So Sorry, let's see I, here. I was getting my groove on. You're getting the groove on. All right, so what do we figured out? Well, the 500 that I have, there's a problem with. The 500 Ron has, there's no problem with. Mm -mm. And the 300 is just as powerful as 500 if the 500 is having an issue that day. So back to the factory it goes, and we'll update you on what they say and how much repair is. You may find yourself in a similar situation if you own these lights. Well, now you know. To it, keep your lights away from Mark. Yeah. All right. Like and subscribe. We'll be back soon. See you later.